Monaco is Seis Take on the Volkswagen Take on Allspace and the Skoda Kodiak. So it's a mid size SUV. It's got a five seat version, seven seat version, up to you. You can have petrol or diesel, 150 horsepower up to 190 horsepower. Now, most people go for front wheel drive. You can also have four wheel drive. And it's the new range shopping car for Seat. So it's quite a big car, bigger than everything else in the range. On top of that, it introduced a new design language, including this new grille. And that sense of style continues inside the Traco, actually. Um, it's got a really nice specification. It moves things on for Seat. It's got this lovely digital cluster in the middle here. It's highly customizable, and it's very easy to do so with using this middle screen. Everything's very quick and easy to use. The quality is very good as well. It's typical Volkswagen Group stuff, but it's lifted a little bit, perhaps more than some of Seat's models. The Excellence model gets a few nice little bits and pieces. So you've got this lovely trim material on the seats here. It's very tactile. You've got this uh, shiny aluminium, um, almost a shelf on the dashboard, which looks nice, feels nice, and almost a tweed effect under the doors. So a bit unusual, a bit different, certainly worth putting your money into. Obviously the Taraco is bought as a family car, so it needs to be practical in the back as well. It's got a good start. These back doors are really, really long, because it's easy to get in. Inside the back of the Tarago, there's plenty of room, uh, especially in these outer two seats. The middle passenger doesn't have quite as much space, nothing unusual there. This car has got a lovely panoramic sunroof, but it doesn't impinge on headroom too much. If you've got kids, they like to be entertained, like to be kept busy, get them these picnic tables. But there's snacks on there, it's even rubberized, so not so many things will fall off and you'll have to reach around and get them. And it's got a neat little cup holder here for your little sippy cups. Very nice. Now, this being the excellence model, it's also got heated seats, vents at the back, everybody loves that. There's only one charging port back here though, so kids will have to fight over that. Continuing from the front, it's got this lovely trim material and the doors and everything as well. It's generally a nice place to spend a good bit of time. This is the seven seat version of the Tarico we're testing. And to help those in the back, these seats slide and the backrest tilts as well. It's quite easy to do, slide the whole thing, give those in the back a little bit more legroom. Also, actually, it brings smaller kids closer to this picnic table, which is quite useful. The backrest tilts as well, um, you know, change your comfort level. Works quite well. This is the 70 version of the Taraco as well. You pay a small premium for the extra seats, but parents with kids, with friends, will know that those extra seats are useful at times. You know, bigger families obviously as well might go for them, but bear in mind, they're not really for adults. Now, I don't want to show you what it took me to get in here, but if I had to be here for a short term, it'd be okay. Not for a long journey though. A lot of people who buy the Taraco aren't always going to use the seven seats. So it's very easy to fold them down. Now, before you do, there's about 230 liters of space here, which looks quite small, but I reckon you'd get a modern um, travel system upright here, which isn't too bad really. Push down these. So obviously you can just use one if you needed to, get a load of space in there. In the 70 version, if you fold down these two back seats, you get 700 litres here, which is hard to imagine, but that, that's, it's a big space. You probably get a couple of smaller kids' bikes in there. You'd easily get a big buggy in here. And a handy little feature here at the back to keep hold of the boot cover when you don't need it. This flips up, just fits in underneath. And back behind the wheel, the Taraco is better than average. It's decent to drive. It's very competent, very good on the road. Uh, it, you know, it handles bumps well, and yet body control is good, the wheel control is good, it doesn't feel skittish over these really quite challenging mountain roads. One caveat to all of that, <laughs> this car has the adaptive damping option, so that probably helps things in that matter. But even so, it's, it's good to drive for this size car. Now, the 2 litre diesel engine is pretty refined on the move, it's okay, it's not too loud, and overall the refinement level is pretty decent. In terms of comfort, it's good too. It doesn't mind the potholed roads, it deals with bumps very well. Um, it should help with you know, anybody who's prone to uh, car sickness, like kids, etc. And while the Taraco looks like a pretty big SUV and it can seat up to seven, it doesn't feel all that big on the road. It shrinks around you, it's quite agile in the tighter corners. It's verging on fun to drive. So just because mum and dad have to go for a big family car doesn't mean they don't have to enjoy themselves a little bit behind the wheel. I'm not saying it's a sports car or anything. For a big seven-seat SUV, it's pretty good. Say it's first entry in the big SUV space is a good one. Tarco is a decent family car. I'd have it myself with three kids. Personally, I prefer the look of it over the Skoda Kodiak and the Volkswagen Tiguan. And those aren't the only ones in the space, obviously. It's decently equipped 
quality is good, it drives very well. Good car. Make sure you get involved in the comments, let us know what you think of the Taraco. There's also a more detailed review of it on completecar.ie, you'll find that below in the description. And finally, when you're finished with all that, make sure you press the subscribe button.